Hey everybody, Dutch Sense here. 1.59 p.m. Central Time on Saturday, October 19th, 2013. And I've got you over here on my website. We're going to be looking at Typhoon Francisco and something else that's just happened. I want to bring to your attention. It's the point of this video. Now, starting off, of course, we do have Typhoon Francisco, currently Category 4, going into Category 5, heading north by northwest towards Japan. Once it gets near the island of Japan, it's going to break north-northeast and go right along the coast, just like Typhoon Wifa that happened a week ago. Now, this area has been experiencing a large amount of typhoon cyclone activity over the last several weeks, and that's what I want to show you. First, let's look at the track here really quick so you can see where this started. Okay, just make a general note of the area where this started and where it's going north now. And then I'm going to show you guys the microwave background image. This is as of last night at midnight, and we'll go get the current one. But I want to show you in case it's already gone from their site. Okay, this is the microwave background imagery, and we'll let the whole thing load. And I want to draw your attention to right here, okay, where my mouse is. Now, here's the current typhoon. Typhoon Francisco, it's starting to pull north. And you're going to see a microwave pulse of some kind that shows up. Wait for it, right there. Causes the clouds to disappear. I believe that's some kind of heating. We don't know for certain what is actually happening there, where it's coming from even, but you can see it represented on the actual composite imagery. This is picked up and definitely uh, is presenting something that's happening here. Now I wanna show you what's occurring right now in the exact same area. To see that, we're gonna come over to the SSEC from Wisconsin and they keep track of all the tropical events. And look at here, Tropical Depression 27. Let me open up the map here so you can see where it actually started. Okay, so here's a little island chain here just to keep track of where that is. All right, now let's go back and take another look at the Mimic background microwave imagery. Go to the West Pacific again. All right, here's the Philippines. Here's our island chain for reference, east of the island chain, down here, right here. Wait for it. Okay, so there you go. Um, I mean, we are talking in the same area right here. There is now a new low pressure system kicking up. And you can see right where the pulse happened, look at the rotation that begins. And we're talking this entire area gets hit. And at the direct center of where that pulse is, you see the rotation begin. Let me see if I can zoom that in at all. Right. And let's go back over here. All right. And the low kicks up here, but they have it forecast to come here. So we're talking east of the islands. Somewhere down in here, the low pressure system forms. And that is directly following this large microwave pulse. Now, is this one going to form into a typhoon as well? I don't know, but we're seeing a tremendous amount of cyclone typhoon activity that's, I'd say, almost unprecedented at this point to see this many so soon, so quick, so large. You know, each one, Category 4, Category 5, we got Vietnam hit, we got Japan hit, we got India hit, and now we've got Japan getting hit again, and a second one kicking up here may come right. If it goes on the same track, it's going to go in the exact same direction. So let's hope this low dies out here. But as it stands right now, it looks like it's going to develop. Is this man-made? Well, I don't think this is natural. I don't think this is coming from the sun. I don't think it's coming from an outer space. I think this is coming from somewhere, most likely either to the northwest or to the southeast of this location. Well, if you follow the trail, um, that takes it up to Russia or south. Here, let's back this out now. Let's go look at the Global 2 image. You'll be able to see it here as well. Okay, it looks like it's coming from the direction of, let's say, New Zealand. Now, I'm not saying it's coming from New Zealand. It could be coming from the South Pole or the North Pole. We don't know. That's the whole point of, of doing videos is to try and get as many people's ideas as to what the, this could be, what could be causing the rotation to develop in that area right when that pulse occurs, right after the pulse occurs. Okay. 
Amazing times, guys. Much love. Be safe.